Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert samples into tracks in Reaper. So the idea of converting samples into tracks is really just a much quicker way to work with a one sample per track workflow. So let's see how it works. I have a project right here with a guitar track. Let's hear it. Let's say we wanted to add a drum part to this project. We could create a new track, go to our track effects, and add the Reaper sampler, and just add the sample we want into here. But we could do this a lot quicker. Let's delete this track and instead go to the View menu and choose Media Explorer. Although it's even quicker to use the keyboard shortcut. Choose it, and then we can see all the files in this window that are on a hard drive. I created a directory for all my sounds over here and different ones for kick or snare or so on. And I put some favorite samples in here I want to use for this track. Let's start by adding this kick sample. And instead of dragging this into our project, we can just right click it. Go down here to insert into sample player and choose insert sample player with this sample on a new track. And that's going to create a new track with the Samplematic 5000 sampler already on it. And also using the sample we chose. And by default, any MIDI note we play is going to trigger this sample, which makes sense. For this workflow. And if we put it in record, we can see that it defaults to our MIDI input. So we could trigger it with our USB MIDI keyboard using any key we want. Now, to make this workflow even faster, I like to adjust these tracks using a custom action. So let's go to the actions menu, show action list. And right over here is a custom action I created. Let's take a look. First, it's going to turn on automatic record arm when track is selected. Then it'll switch the record mode to MIDI overdub, which is useful for loop recording. Then it will turn on input quantize for the track and set it to quantize the 16th notes. And it's going to do all this with one custom action which is triggered by a keyboard shortcut. So now we could trigger that one keyboard shortcut and it'll change the behavior of our track very quickly. It changes to auto record. So selecting the track puts it in record. And input quantize is turned on for 16th notes. So it'll quantize on the way in. And record MIDI overdub is turned on, which will make it easier for loop recording. This will make it quicker so we can start recording right away using our USB MIDI keyboard. Let's try recording this kick track. Pretty simple. Now let's say I wanted to add a snare. Let's choose this sample. Now instead of right clicking this and going to this option we chose before, there's a quicker way. We could right click over here and go to options, default action for double click or enter key. We could change the default from insert media on selected track to insert media 
into Sample Player on New Track, which is what we did with the kick. So now we can just double click the snare sample and it creates that new track automatically with the sampler on it and the snare sample. And again, it's going to work with any MIDI key we hit. Select the track, hit the keyboard shortcut for that custom action. It changes the track behaviors and we're ready to record our snare. Pretty simple and pretty quick. Let's add a clap sample. Again, we can just double click it to create a new track, select the track, and hit that keyboard shortcut to trigger that custom action. And let's record some claps. Now it's add a hi-hat right over here, double click it, it creates a new track with the hi-hat in the sampler, select the track and trigger the custom action, let's record the hi-hat. So very quickly, we created a drum part. And if you wanted to swap out any of the samples, let's say we wanted to change this hi-hat, make sure this window is open, open the Media Explorer, and choose the new hi-hat we want. Make sure this window is active, choose the new sample we want, and right-click it and choose Insert into Sample Player, but this time choose Reuse Active Sample Player, which will put the sample in the Active Sample track. Let's hear it. Although truthfully, it's a lot quicker just to drag it directly in. To replace it, let's try this one. Let's go back to the first one. Just a very quick way to add samples quickly, one sample per track, and create a part. So that's pretty much it. That's how to convert samples into tracks in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!